Joining us right now is the uh, host of After the Bell on the Fox Business Network and author of the new book, Lessons from the Prairie. Melissa Francis joins the table here. Melissa, great to see you. Thank you. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. You guys get up early. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. We do. We do. Uh, Congrats. I mean, Thank lessons you. from the prairie. I don't know. Does every does everybody know out there that that you're one of the stars on Little House on the Prairie? That's I was a child that. actor. Although I, when you show the photos, I know no one recognizes it because they used to dye my hair we, brown. She just said you look exactly the same. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Except for the hair. Yes. Other than that. Yeah, there you go. So, I mean, I, I grew up on the prairie. It was a lot of fun. There's those cheeks. You can't miss them. So <laughs> in your new book, Lessons yes. from the Prairie, you detail the life lessons you learned while working as an actor alongside Michael Land and then the yes. others. Tell more, us about that. So more than anything else, my goal was to make you laugh um, with this book. I make fun of myself for a few hundred pages, which was a lot of fun and very therapeutic. And then when you get through reading about all the pies I've taken to the face in my lifetime, you realize there are some pretty darn good lessons under there that I learned along the way. Um, one of them, I mean, one of the most interesting lessons I learned from Little House in the Prairie was Michael Landon was one of the first people in Hollywood to really figure out the business of Hollywood. He owned that show. He created it. He directed it. He starred in it. He was the first one there in the morning, the last one to leave at night. He had an incredible work ethic. And recently I was talking to Melissa Gilbert, and she's, you know, we were talking about the fact that none of the kids from Little House on the Prairie ended up robbing a dry cleaner or going to rehab. And one of the reasons was the work ethic that he instilled in us. Um, when the cameras went on, we were really there for business. And he picked a lot of good worker B kids, but he also taught us the value and the pride in a day's work, producing something that people loved and being part of the team and coming to work ready to go. He called me one take Missy because I used to be able to get out there and get it done right away. And he loved that because he was about saving money. He was cheap as hell. <laughs> and, you know, he had a small dressing room and we had no frills. And if that was good enough for a big star like him, it was good enough for everyone else. But I learned about economy. I learned about effort and pride and work ethic and a lot of stuff on that show and I realize now in today's life you know I went on and I studied economics at Harvard and I worked in the kitchen in order to pay for my unpaid internships to break into this business when I was in college my idol was the money, honey. There's a whole bit in there. You haven't seen it yet, Maria. There's a whole oh bit there God. about you. Oh, wow. And I had so much respect for Maria who was sexy and fabulous but brilliant and respected Aww. and I said that's who I want to be. That's who I want to be thank as Maria Bartiromo. I mean, you were really you for my inspiration that. getting into business news, and I've obviously followed her everywhere, Aww. from CNBC and over <laughs> here and everything. And, you know, you really, in my mind, ha have it all. You know, I mean, really just that, because it's, for me as a woman, you know, I, I love having the glamour. Then you have the brains and the strength behind it. That's important. You're a role model for women, especially today on Take Your Kids to Work Day. It's important to talk about these things. Thank you so anyway, much for saying that, Liz. You are the role in there. model. <laughs> and and I appreciate you saying that. Okay. Hardworking and, yes. ca and caring and pointing at you. <laughs> yeah. Professional yes. and just again, Not a diva. generous. Yeah. Generous. But aren't these the lessons, though, that have driven us all? I mean, you've spoken in the past about your biz your small business, your family business. Yeah. I grew up in my, my family yes. business. And, and that's really what has enabled us to recognize that everything is very fragile. Yes. And it's all about hard work, and it's all very fleeting. So don't take it too seriously, and don't take yes. it for granted. Every minute these, is a gift. Those Every are all the themes that are in here, really, all of that. But I want to just quickly say, because yeah. you, you're, you walk the talk. So you wrote this book, but the first time that I ever met Melissa is when you were working for that other network. Yeah, we God, can't even remember thank the Thank God we're all here together now. <laughs> yeah. But it was down at the um, NYMEX. Yes. And change. I remember very that often people at other networks treat rivals like, well, you're irrelevant. Melissa was so generous and helpful and kind. And you know what? That sticks with you. I will never thank forget you. that. So thank, thank you. you. I do remember that day. I remember the day I met you. No, I think that it, it only behooves us. And there's even a chapter about not being the Nelly. You know, the Nelly and on Little House of <laughs> Prairie. He goes out and sabotages everyone else. And how really all that does is make you miserable. You think you're cutting down the competition, but you're just making your own life miserable. And in the universe, it comes back to you. And I, I 
I say in here, like, are you a Laura where, you know, you're kind of that bright? You're not perfect. I mean, you have your moments where you're mean to other people, but overall, you're trying for the common good. Or are you a Nelly? And if you're a Nelly, you want to think about that. It you're follows really, you. It follows you. You're only making yourself miserable. You're making the people around you miserable. I mean, Michael Landon understood for a group to work well, like this show, you have to like each other and enjoy being yeah. together and help each other. And it makes for a good product overall. It also happens to be the right thing to do. But besides that, you know, don't be your own worst enemy. So all those themes are in here, and I make you laugh along the way, I hope. <laughs> um, it gets funnier, and I take more risks as you go along. You don't have to read the chapters in order, because they're all standalone lessons. So you can start towards the end if you really want to make yourself laugh and go back. But it's all, I had a great time writing it. I love it. I really enjoyed it. So I hope people out there love it. Melissa, th congratulations. Thank so you. So wonderful. And thank, thank you for your leadership. Thank you. Uh, you're just terrific. <laughs> lessons from the Prairie. Melissa Francis's new book. If you are in the Orlando area tomorrow, by the way, yes. you have a signed copy of the book. I'm going to the villages. Woohoo! Meet Come Melissa see me. at Barnes and Noble in the villages. <laughs> she will be there. Yes, and absolutely. We'll, we'll be rooting you on from here. Thank Melissa, you. I thank appreciate you so it. much. Great book. Yeah, you have to read the part about yourself now. Oh I should have warned God. you about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm so honored. My God, Melissa, thank you. Yeah.